The fact that we used the same image for our poster and magazine cover shows that we have kept a consistency between our media products. We use the infected title consistently throughout our media productions and use the same font and colouring as well as using uppercase lettering. The colour scheme in both ancillary texts show a good level of consistency as we use the same scheme of colour which was predominantly black and white that were faded into other no to one another to make the characters stand out. We feel as a group that we've made our poster and magazine cover as effectively as possible because we use the same image but with different textures to emphasise the Little White Lies cover. We've also retained continuity between all our media products as we have kept this central character the same throughout. We've done this by using the same makeup in all. The lighting within our teaser and ancillary text is generally low key as we wanted to create the effect of a thriller and we retain consistency in all our media products by using dark colours and very dull or low lighting. Our tagline, Will You Be Infected, is only used in two of our media products that we produced because we wanted to keep the conventions of the Little White Lies magazine as generally their covers are image dominated. Bill Britton, would this film appeal to you if it was a film of the teaser? You know? um, yes, it would. Oh, I'd really enjoy a film like this. Because it's a sort of film. Like... Uh, thank you very much. Can you tell what genre the film is going to be from this rough cut? Uh, I'd say a thriller due to the, uh, the makeup. The suspense. Do you think there's a varied selection of shots? Yeah. I believe there is. I, I mean, I'm very fond of the, uh, the old beat shot that you've got in there. I like that. Yeah, it's very uh, technically advanced. Good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. This film uh, probably wouldn't appeal to me seeing as in the teaser trailer I didn't really even understand what it was about. Uh, I could probably tell that it's a maybe a psychological film. And uh, I can't even read it. Do you think there is a very selection of shots? Yeah, there is a very selection of shots because there's some extreme close ups uh, followed by some establishing shots and mid range shots. I'm not surprised. Um, this would definitely appeal to me as I'm quite into this type of film. Um, I think this the genre of the film is quite alright, maybe a bit of science fiction in there, and it's out of the ordinary. Um, I think there's a very good uh, variation of shots, so there's a lot of close-ups, a lot of establishing shots, and good use of angles.